Welcome to part one of getting started in DaVinci Resolve. In this series, we're going back to basics and walking you through step by step everything you need to know to get you started in Resolve. If you're new to Resolve or just need a refresher, these tutorials are for you. Let's get started. When you open up DaVinci Resolve, the first thing you'll see after the splash screen is the project manager window. Before you can get started with a new project, you'll first need to set up your local database. So what is a database? In Resolve, a database contains pretty much everything that isn't media. This includes your projects, bins, timelines, and more. It can contain your sound library, but we'll discuss this in another video. To create a new local database, you will need to make sure the show database icon is checked. From here, you can select the new database icon at the bottom of the menu. Once you've clicked this, a new dialog menu will open and you'll have two options to choose from, Disk or PostgreSQL. If you're just working by yourself with one computer, you'll only need to worry about the local disk option. PostgreSQL is the database option for those who are working in larger teams and need to share databases across network storage. For example, if you work in a post-production house. When creating a new local database, you'll have the option to name it and choose the destination where you'd like to keep it. It's recommended that you keep your local database on an internal drive. By default, the local database can be found here on a Mac and here on a Windows machine. If you've already created a new database and are not sure where it is, you can right click on it in the menu and select Reveal in Finder or the Windows equivalent. You can also select the information icon, which will reveal the status and location of the databases. As long as your local database is stored on an internal drive, you can always choose somewhere else easier to find. Once you've created your new database, you can now start to create your projects. Depending on how much work you do in Resolve, an individual database will vary in size. However, they are still relatively small in terms of file size. Mine, for instance, are less than one gigabyte. This makes it fairly easy if you need to transfer your databases to another computer or hard drive. To do this, you can select the database backup icon in the project manager. This will open up another dialog box and it will ask you to name and select the destination for your backup. Once you click save, it may take a little while to create the backup depending on the size of your database. But once it is being completed, you can now copy that file to your new computer or external hard drive. To restore your backup, all you have to do is select the restore icon and locate your backup file. Now all of your projects contained within that database will be restored. Remember, databases do not contain your project media. This is stored in a different location, so you will need to back up that separately. We will discuss how to back up and archive individual project files in a future video. For now though, if you found this first part useful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos from this series, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you are notified when a new video is released. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.